A year and a half ago, my wife was diagnosed with Meniere's disease. And she went from being a highly functional, very intelligent woman to being someone who needed help walking from the bedroom to the living room. Stopped. She wasn't able to be a mom. She couldn't keep up with her duties as a mother. She couldn't drive. She couldn't drive her son to school, pick him up. She became a handicap from one day to the next, Meniere's disease, and a semicircular canal dehiscence. And it happened like that. It was not expected. From a very intelligent, active, strong, healthy lady to that. And I remember sitting there in the doctor's uh, office, and the doctor said, you have Meniere's disease. It is incurable, progressive, and it will handicap your life. I, don't, I won't forget because it was one doctor, two doctors, three doctors, four doctors, and then they wanted to send her to Boston to remove part of her scalp, part of her head, and perform brain surgery. And we said, uh-uh. The first thing that we did was identify. She identified. There's a problem. <laughs> we identified the problem. Second thing was focus. She started to focus and visualize herself in a healthy, healthy state, a healthy state of mind, being the mother that God had called her to be, the wife that God had called her to be, to be fully functional and healthy. She started to see, she started to write down the scriptures that spoke to her, that God gave her, that spoke about healing and restoration. And if you walk into our bedroom, it might look a little hideous because they're plastered all over the wall. But that's what you call intentionality. That's what you call discipline and consistency. Boom, it's plastered. The closet is plastered. The car has post-it notes. And it's a constant reminder. And reading the scripture, she couldn't read the scripture because she couldn't read. She would have to listen to it. She had the audio Bible playing 24-7, 24-7. It was a little hideous because I couldn't sleep. But she had it playing. Worship music, worship music. So she identified. She focused, she wrote it down, and then number four, she rehearsed it and she revisited it. Rehearse and revisit, rehearse and revisit. What is rehearse? Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, 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 whatever it is. Whatever it is. I'm not going to walk in death, I'm going to walk in life. I'm not gonna walk in disease, I'm gonna walk in healing. I'm gonna practice, 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 practice. And this is not a name it, claim it kind of thing. I'm telling you, this was strategic, God-focused, word-focused. It was completely structured. So she went from identifying, she then went to focusing, to writing, and then to rehearsing and revisiting.